Identifying and picking up the players poised for a breakout season can make or break your fantasy squad. NBA.com has 10 sleepers to consider heading into the 2017-2018 season. With the departure of Paul George, the Pacers have handed the keys to the franchise to Miles Turner. There was no sophomore slump last season, and with way more touches likely available in year three, Turner is expected to fill up the box score with the ability to not only block shots, grab rebounds, but also shoot threes. Year one in Boston saw Al Horford score less than he did in Atlanta. However, Horford's five assists per game was by far a career best. While Kyrie Irving and Gordon Hayward are likely to be the Celtics' first two scoring options, a lack of big man depth on the Celtics roster will beg of Horford to crash the glass. Like Horford, Dwight Howard is also a former Hawk. Following a short-lived and underwhelming homecoming, Howard is now in Charlotte, where Steve Clifford might be willing to keep Howard on the court more than he was in Atlanta. Don't expect the Hornet center to make up for the seven points per game he has lost off this scoring average since his final season in Orlando, but Howard is still an elite rebounder. No one from the rookie class of 2016 scored more total points than Buddy Heald, but it took a while and a trade to Sacramento for the sixth overall pick to adjust to the NBA game. Heald finished up strong during his final 22 games. He averaged nearly 15.5 points, hitting 2.5 threes a night at a 44% clip, while also being much more aggressive, resulting in more trips to the line. During this 22-game stretch, Heald attempted 35 free throws. That's two more trips to the line that Heald made during his 57 games he played with the Pelicans. Too little, too late? No, it wasn't enough to get the Knicks into the playoff race. However, when Willie Hernan Gomez was given serious minutes, he put up serious numbers. His 22 starts were the fewest among all first-team all-rookie selections. As a starter, Hernan Gomez averaged about a double-double. And with Nick management publicly prioritizing their young core, Hernan Gomez won't have to wait this time around for his opportunity. The Utah general manager believes Rodney Hood can be a primary scorer. To prove Dennis Lindsay right, Hood first needs to stay healthy. He played less than 60 games in two of his first three seasons. Injuries may have contributed to a drop in Hood's numbers from year two to year three. However, the defensive-minded Jazz struggled to score when they had Gordon Hayward. Now with the All-Star gone, returning to the playoffs might only be possible if Hood emerges as one of the league's most improved players. Last year, without Justice Winslow, the Heat went on a historic run during the second half of the season, only to fall short of the playoffs. Now all eyes on a healthy Winslow to see if he can push Miami over the top. The Heat will ask Winslow to do a little bit of everything, but fantasy owners are asking Winslow for more rebounds and watching to see if all the talk about Winslow spending the summer fixing his shot is for real. Rudy Gay says he has reached a do-or-die point of his career. Coming off of a torn Achilles, Gay expects to be ready to make his Spurs debut with the rest of the club on opening night. And you know, the moment Rudy steps into the gym, he'll be ready to shoot it. We know Kawhi is the focus of every opponent every night. However, it is yet to be determined if San Antonio's young group of players are ready to step into expanded roles. So it could be Rudy who was asked to provide some much-needed life into the Spurs' offense. How much could be learned from Summer League? Well, how much could be learned from just one Summer League game? In what turned out to be one night only, Brandon Ingram's Lone Vegas show earned rave reviews. More importantly, the youngest player in the 2016 draft is a year older and a much-needed few pounds heavier. Surrounded by more talent and the ability to play multiple positions, a confident Ingram will be a matchup nightmare for opponents on most nights. Aaron Gordon has had four different head coaches during his first three years in the NBA. Finally, in year four, Gordon enters a new season with the same coach he ended the previous season with. However, not everything is remaining the same as Coach Vogel is expected to move Gordon back to the power forward spot. The 22-year-old is on the clock. Entering a contract year, the organization is giving Gordon the ball, hoping he has the keys to unlock all of that potential. The 2017-2018 NBA fantasy season is almost here. Don't sleep on these sleepers.